So I think it's very simple as you know that we'll go with concept and along with we'll go for the meaning also. APG is stands for donation to certain fund, charitable institution. You have taken 5 lakh loan. The rate of interest is 10%. How much it is? 50,000 per annum. Individual and senior citizen all put together maximum of 1 lakh. You can take it as exemption. Hello everyone, this is your other sir here, lecturing with us from First Lake College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session 2 of your topic called Tax Management. Under Tax Management, we are discussing Deduction under Chapter 6A. Almost we are done with half of your Deduction topic and now we are in the second part of your deduction. I Up to AKD also we completed and in today's session we will continue with your remaining deductions. So I think it's very simple as you know that we will go with concept and along with we will go for the meaning also. We have ATE, ATEE, ATEEA and ATEEB in this. Remember in this topic so your ATE is very important. ATE is very important. E for what? Education. E for education. Now, ATE deduction in respect of interest on loan taken for higher education without any upper limit. Now remember, what do you mean by ATE means? ATE stands for deductions. Any deduction like you have a son, assumption, you have a son, he is studying MBA. Now, for MBA, it uh, takes minimum 5 to 6 lakh, minimum I am telling, 5 to 6 lakh to uh, go for MBA. 5 to 6 lakh arranging is very difficult. Arranging of 5 to 6 lakh is very difficult. Then what we will do? We will go for bank loan. Whatever bank loan they collect on that interest has to be paid. Whatever interest paid on education loan, remember it is exemption under section 80E. So for example, assume that you have taken 5 lakh loan. The rate of interest is 10%. How much it is? 50,000 per annum. 50,000 per annum exemption. Now, whatever 50,000 interest you make, interest you pay, this interest will come under your deduction under section 80E. Hope you are clear. Deduction under section 80E. Now, in respect of interest on loan taken for higher education, education without any upper limit. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, E. What is the next one? A T double E. Now, deduction in respect of interest up to rupees 50,000 on loan taken for residential house purpose. So, other than your normal deduction, we have A T double E also. Respect of 50,000 loan taken for residential house. Remember, if it is let out or something, then it will be what? Unlimited. So, if it is a residential house, your occupied means up to 50,000, the interest part can be taken as exemption. Now, again, I'll come back to your ATE. ATE, what happens? Just assume that you have taken loan of 5 lakh. Your MBA is for how many years? It is for 2 years. Your MBA is for 2 years. Now, your MBA is for 2 years now. So, whatever 2 years you are done with your MBA, up to 2 years what you are supposed to do? On 5 lakh, you are supposed to pay 50,000 in the first year, 50,000 in the second year. These are the interest you are supposed to pay. These are the interest you are supposed to pay. You are done with your interest and everything. Assume that you are done with your interest. After second year, what happens? The, go the bank people will give you permission. Like, I will give you six months from the date of completion of MBA. I'll give you six months from the date of completion of MBA. 2020, you have taken loan. 
on January 2021-22 January. So this is two years. After that, you will get another six months. Means Feb, March, April, May, June, July. From July onwards, along with interest, you have to pay the principal amount also. Again, I'll repeat, along with interest, you're supposed to start paying principal. Your loan amount you have to repay now. So, up to two years, they have given permission. Up to six months also, they have given permission in case, luckily, as soon as you completed your MBA, you got job next month itself. Now, from the next month itself, you should start paying your principal amount. Six months are the date of you got your job. Whichever is earlier, you are supposed to start paying principal. Any doubt? No. Now, again, we'll come back to this. Your ATE will not talk about your principal amount, the ATE talks about only interest. Whatever interest paid, unlimited, even though you are paying interest of 50 lakh also, you can claim it as exemption. Under section what? ATE. We have ATE double E, ATE double E for any house taken for residential purpose and you are paying interest on that, up to 50,000 interest is exemption. Now, ATEEA deduction in respect of interest up to 1.5 lakh on loan taken on certain house property, affordable housing. And ATEEA will go for 1.5 lakh. Then ATEEB deduction in respect of interest up to 1.5 lakh loan taken for purchase of electric vehicle. Normally the two wheelers will come below 1 lakh only but if you are taking any four wheeler you have deduction up to 1.5 lakh on loan taken for purchase of electric vehicle. Now the government wants to like promote uh, pollution free city that's why if you are using electrical vehicle means they will be happily will give you the whatever interest you paid on the loan will be taken as your exemption whatever your tax limit is there from that you can reduce hope you are clear as they will not weigh off the interest you have to pay interest but whatever interest paid whatever tax you are paying no in that you can reduce hope you are clear yes so this is all about ate we spoke about now We'll go for ATG. What is the next one? ATG. Now, ATG stands for donation to certain fund, charitable institution, etc. Depending on the nature of the donee, the limit varies from 100 rupees to 100% to 50%. Some donations are there which comes under 100%. Some donations are there which comes under 50%. It varies. Don't go in depth. Why? Because I'll go in depth in your next sem. Why? Because here you don't have any problems. Here you have only theory part. If they ask you to explain ATG, you are supposed to explain ATG. In depth, there is no use. I'll go for one more session in the next your semester. In that, I'll go for your donation calculation also. Now, donation with 50%. These are the four donations. If you make up to 50%, you can claim it as exemption. Now, any Jawaharlal Nehru, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi. These four comes under your direction without any qualifying limit. Hope you are clear. Jawaharlal Nehru, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi and Rajiv Gandhi. These four comes under your donation with 50% direction. Hope you are clear. Now, so remember, other than these four, 90% everything comes under 100% direction. Next, ATU, deduction in case of person with disability, depends on type of extent, maximum deduction is how much? 1,25,000. So, yourself, if you are disabled one, whatever income you get up to 1,25,000, whatever you are spent on that will be taken as deduction. What is the limit? 1.25,000. 
and aqi rrb we have aqi rrb means remember your royalty patent remember this r for what r for not rabbit r for royalty now aqi deduction it is not aqd it is aqi deduction under rrb for any income by way of royalty for patent registered on or after april 2003 under the patent act 1970 shall be available for up to 3 lakh or the income received whichever is less actual income received or up to 3 lakh you can go for exam deduction now assume that you got 2 lakh you cannot go for 3 lakh you have to go for 2 lakh only you got 4 lakh you cannot go for 4 lakh maximum limit is what 3 lakh ak rrb deduction is how much 3 lakh or actual received whichever is less now individual patent and indian resident the tax payer must furnish the certificate in prescribed form duly signed by the prescribed authority see simply you cannot take deduction for that you have to fulfill some basic necessities what is that you have to go with the certificate in prescribed form with the signature of the prescribed authority that is at rrb now we done with all the deduction it is a just revision or recap before that please take screenshot of what we did the first one we completed ate ate double e ate double e a ate double e b and the next one ate g and the next one ate u and the next one ate rrb now so we'll go for revision part now section permissible limit type of investment eligible climates now remember this is not important the last this is important this is important this is not important see this is important but in your syllabus it is not important why because in your syllabus everything we have to learn about individual everything we have to learn only about individual that's why don't go in depth every individual is applicable so that no need to worry about last column you have to worry about column 1 column 2 and column 3 already we have done everything it is just recap or revision now atc minimum is 1 lakh 50000 so you know that what comes under atc atccc atccd like rpf epf bank fd so ppf pension provident fund or public provident fund epf employee provident fund and your fixed deposit national savings certificate and so life insurance corporation premium tuition fees all tuition fees means what you have a small kid you have admitted for first or second standard you are paying fees for 10000 or 12000 that can be taken as tuition fees now individuals huf this is not required as i told you so atc is over atccc also 1 lakh 50 atccd also 1 lakh 50000 now pension fund for atccd pension fund initiated by central government normal pension fund comes under atc double c b hope you are clear yes next will come for attkd it is not important actually but remember up to 10000 per year is exemption interest on bank saving account you have a deposit in your bank you are getting interest every month Are every month some one thousand per annum? How much it is? One thousand into twelve, twelve thousand. It exceeded ten thousand, so it will be taxable. Clear now, but up to ten thousand you will get exemption. Means deduction. ATCCG amount investor subject to maximum twenty five equal. So this is also not important. This is also not important. Next. ATD is important. You know that all mediclaim policy. If you are below sixty years, twenty five thousand. Above sixty years, you will get up to fifty thousand. All put together, how much? Fifty 
one lakh. Hope you remember that individual and senior citizen all put together maximum of one lakh. You can take it as exemption deduction. Now medical insurance premium and health checkup individual and HF. Now ATE just now we completed no limit as I told you even though you paid 50 lakh interest on your education you can claim interest on repayment of education loan. You can claim it as deduction. Next, ATEE maximum of rupees 50,000 ATEE. So it is a what? Interest on your housing loan of all self-occupied. Residential purpose, residential house, property, interest on loan, payable for acquiring. Now, next one, ATEG, you know that donation. General donation of any recognized society, we it varies. One will be 100%, one will be 50%. ATGGA not important. ATGGB also not important. ATGG also not important. Just I'll explain you, but examination purpose not important. So ATGGA depends on quantum of donation. Donation to scientific research or rural development that will be exempted. And ATGGB depends on quantum of donation. Donation to political parties. ATGG it is 5000 per month or 25% of the total income whichever is less we go for donation rent paid for HRA is not received see this is not important actually but just for your sake of completing the topic I am added this part ATRRB is not covered but today's session we cover ATRRB ATRRB for what patent royalty what is the limit up to 3 lakh are actual which is paid whichever is less yes this is your summary part one. Please take screenshot. Summary part two. Summary part three. And summary part four. And the summary part five. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. This is all about your deductions. We're done with your topic like your deduction chapter. The next topic will be income tax authorities. Hope you're clear. Yes, we're done with this. And next session will go with income tax authority. The last session we have income tax authority. With that, our syllabus will be completed. Thank you.